Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Battle Chronicle video. And today we have a brand new update and maintenance notice to go through, including some information about the upcoming United Final Battle. And we're also going to be going over when Haruhime will be releasing. Of course, we already know that the next unit to release for the half anniversary is indeed a brand new Haruhime, so we'll go over that as well. So, of course course if you guys go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more content and let me know your guys' thoughts on the update and maintenance notice down below in the comment section below what are you guys looking forward to the most let me know in the comments now first and foremost let's go over the notice and then we'll talk about haruhime and of course when she's going to be releasing what's going to be in on her banner as well because her banner is a little different compared to normal limited time banners so we're going to go over that as well. So let's go over this first before we go and talk about Haruhime. Thank you for continuously enjoying Danmachi Battle Chronicle. Due to game update, there will be a maintenance during the schedule below. There will be no app update for all versions. Though, usually whenever there's a maintenance, it's a big app update usually. There's always something to download off the Play Store or App Store. There's always something to download fresh on your PC as well, which leads to a lot of problems for a lot of people, of course, right? However, I think there is a solution to that. By the way, if you are struggling with an app update on your PC, I think what you have to do is download any form of VPN, basically a free VPN, connect to another server and then open up the game. I think there's something wrong with the cloud side of things or something like that, wherein for some reason it just doesn't want to download the update and it just gets you straight into the game and then says, oh, restart the game, there is an update available and you have to go through that entire process again and again and again until it fixes itself. So from what I understand and from what I've seen and what I've tested with other people as well who have had this issue, Everybody has said the same thing that working with a VPN and then opening up the game has seemed to solve the issue. So try that out if you are still struggling with the game opening up. Download a VPN. I would recommend Proton VPN and opening up the game up and seeing if it downloads the game. I think that is the way you can fix the issue entirely rather than reinstalling certain things, doing a fresh install or, um, you know, downloading an extra file or something, deleting a certain file. Because a lot of people have thrown around these suggestions. And honestly, if the VPN suggestion works the easiest and, you know, doesn't affect any, any sort of thing like the game files or anything, I think it's the best thing to do in all honesty. So keep that in mind. After this maintenance, you'll need to download new data. We recommend downloading over a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, we all know this, uh, these shenanigans. The maintenance schedule goes from 10, uh, 10 a.m. in the morning in Japan time to noon Japan time. Now, this is a little bit of a shorter maintenance. Usually, it goes from 7 a.m. in the morning to noon JSC. Um, this is, of course, only a two-hour maintenance, so it makes sense for them to go from 10 to 12 instead. Um, end it at the same time, basically, or end it at the time when we usually get our updates anyways, right? So, if I'm not mistaken, in the UK time zone, or GMT that is, this would be from 1 a.m. in the morning to 3 a.m. in the morning. So, if you're in America, I think that would be 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. It would start at 8 p.m. EST and end at 10 p.m. Eastern. And of course, if you're on the Pacific time zone, that would be 5 p.m. Pacific and ending at 7 p.m. Pacific. I think that should be the way it works. Let me know, of course, if I've messed up the time zone or something, but I think that's the way the time zone works. So yeah, the maintenance schedule is between that. Now let's take a look at the scheduled con uh, update contents and what are we gonna be getting? Extreme difficulty raid, United Final Battle special season begins. Um, so obviously, if you guys didn't know, the upcoming United Final Battle, which is going to be starting on uh, the update day, will be adding a brand new difficulty in the form of an EX difficulty. I cannot wait to see how much more challenging it will be and uh, giving it a shot with you guys in, of course, the live streams and stuff. I'm very excited to start this off. And there's one thing that they've mentioned lo lower down that I'm very excited for because it's going to make things so much more exciting when it comes to the raid. They are also introducing the March Battle Pass, so we'll see what exactly the Battle Pass has to offer. Usually, I would say that it is based on whatever element is going to release. Now, of course, with a Earth Damage uh, Battle Pass uh, scene card already available, I have a feeling that either it's going to be something to do with special move damage 
or they're gonna do the next one that we still haven't gotten and that is wind we have water we have fire we have earth we have electric we are missing the wind damage scene card and of course the next event should be of course wind units based right so it would make sense for them to do wind damage but i wouldn't mind them doing special move damage as well because getting yet another special move damage scene card would be amazing of course i mean the more the merrier i say the more the merrier addition of story quest one winged monster arc of course this is the season three story beginning as well which i'm very much looking forward to of course this is the chapter uh the first chapter that's actually going to be added to season three outside of obviously chapter one itself right so i'm very much looking forward to this this is going to be some additional sailors that people can get from of course farming the stage doing the battle missions and stuff like that um i'm quite curious to see what the weaknesses will be of course if it's anything to do with either purple or earth i think a lot of people should be able to clear it especially with the brand new bell and armis right even fire i think should be easy water should be easy wind might be a little bit of a challenge for some people but i feel like the wind units we have even though they are old right green eyes otaral and stuff like that otaral i say is old he's only three months old but these units are relatively old compared to of course your bells and artemises and stuff i still believe they should be able to clear these stages very easily even if it is weak to wind uh units of course right so that's going to be something to look forward to as well now let's take a look at the extreme difficulty raid united final battle special season begins extreme united final battle black goliath raid special season will begin Fire, wind, water, earth, electric, goliaths of each element will appear all at once, each one stronger than ever before. So every elemental goliath will be here for us to do. We can go through and do any goliath element we want to. Now this is going to make things a little bit more tricky, especially assuming the region lock is still there. We're going to find it very difficult to link up with players, especially if everybody's doing different elements, right? I think obviously in my live streams it'll be a lot easier because I'll be sharing the codes and of course you know we're all going to be focusing on doing one goliath specifically right but of course if you're looking at it from a perspective of generally playing I think there needs to be a, a certain thing that we need to you know organize effectively maybe like the discord the official discord can be a way for people to you know get together and decide who can do which goliath people are going to be doing and so on and so forth this time you can challenge as many times as you want so there are no tickets for this extreme difficulty raid that is fantastic i am very excited about that one that is going to make things so much more easier when it comes to farming you know the event shop or, or the raid shop it'll be so much more easier when it comes to farming the cumulative totals and it's just going to be a lot more fun because we can consistently do it on stream you know we talk about replayability in uh, damachi battle chronicle and how mss is pretty much the only game mode that you can actually do on repeat without any issues right because there's no tickets there's no stamina or anything of that sort when it comes to that game mode the fact that they're gonna allow us to do that with the united final battle is going to be unbelievable because it's another game mode and it's probably it's in my opinion it's the better cooperative and real-time game mode compared to mss let's be real right going in with four or three other players you know be uh, co cooperatively playing the game mode i think it's gonna be fantastic so this is what i'm very excited for so keep trying and aim to defeat the goliaths through trial and error by defeating the goliaths you can obtain special titles that are only available here so we can encourage we encourage you to give it a try i can't wait i cannot wait for this this is gonna be super exciting I also will say this, by the way, the fact that they're dropping all of the elemental goliaths at once and this is a special season, I think that they're going to be adding Antares next raid onwards. Because, of course, if you guys didn't know, Antares was supposed to be part of this month's update. It was supposed to be part of this month period um i didn't know if it was going to be a, a part of the, the start of the uh, start of the month or now at the end of the month but it was supposed to come out this month and it seems like they've delayed that as well by a month we know antares is looking like a raid boss we've done the battle right we fought, fought uh uh you know antares twice over in the orion chapter and in the antares chapter of course right so or the artemis chapter whatever it is so in my opinion I think that the next raid is going to be on Taurus and the, this is like this is the swan song of the Black Goliath raid which I'm okay with. I think that's fantastic the way they're handling it. It's going to be amazing and I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to seeing what battle items they drop because 
fire, wind, earth, electric, water, all five elements are there. Is each raid going to have its own like battle item to farm? Because if that's the case, oh, you best believe people should be hyper farming this shit. Fire, wind, earth, water, electric. Come on, man. You gotta be farming five Goliath robes at that point. We we have uh, water. We have uh, electric. We need earth, wind, and fire. So I think a lot of people will want to farm those three in particular. And of course, if they can get more water and electric ones, wherein you can basically re-hammer it and of course, uh, you know, uh, remake it so that you could get better stats. That's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to this. I'm very much looking forward to this just so that we can farm a bunch of Goliath robes. I cannot wait. As I said, I cannot wait. Now, you might be wondering, Gail, they've not mentioned anything about Haruhime. What's happening there? You know, what, 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 are we, what are we saying about Haruhime? Well, Haruhime is not dropping on the 28th, actually. She's dropping a little bit later. So if we go over to the event start, right? Where is the event start? Let me go over uh to the event start the start of the uh, brand new event which is here right and we scroll down a little bit right so first and foremost they are going to be adding the second part of the event story on the 28th of february so this update that's coming up will feature the second half of the event story as well and then furthermore on top of all of that we are going to be getting haruhime on the first of march so she's not dropping on the update day itself She's dropping a day or two after the update goes live. So keep that in mind. She's not dropping on the day of the maintenance and update notice itself. Uh, whatever the notice said, right? It's not a, it's, we're not dropping her. They're not dropping her. He made that day. So you're going to have to wait for a little bit in order to get that going as well. Now, on top of that, another thing to note about Haruhime, and I've, I've realized not many people know about this actually, is that Haruhime's banner will feature, or I say will feature in an unfeatured manner, Bell and Chigusa. Both Bell and Chigusa will be in the Haruhime uh, raid up gacha, but they will not have an in increased appearance rate. So they won't be at 0.7%. They'll be at like 0, 0 something percent, 0, 0 something percent or whatever it is. So keep that in mind that Bell and Chigusa will be obtainable in the upcoming uh, Haruhime gacha as well. However, you would have to be very lucky to pull them, I would say. I, I'd say you'd have to be fairly lucky to pull them. So keep that in mind. But yes. This is all the, that we know for the upcoming um, update, of course, for the half anniversary. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to this raid. This is very good news. I, I love whatever they've said here. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the rewards will be and everything as well. Um, the story quest will also give us some more Selas as well. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I cannot wait. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like I said at the start of the video, what do you guys think is the most exciting thing? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.